Hey guys, it's Pauline. I have uh, two more packages. So let's take a look at it. So this one comes from overseas somewhere. So. Got this from Etsy. Yay. All right. It's hard for me to gauge how big things are. I just, I mean, I know they have dimensions on there. It's just, it's just hard for me. So, um, I thought that this would be uh, neat to put my um my journal and supplies in it. So when, oh, this is a little smaller than I thought. But, um, <clears throat> I thought it was super cute. I liked the way it was made. Let's see. Oh, okay. It looked really cute. And so, well, that's about what I thought it was. I knew it was small. And so, just as a comparison, this is one of those uh, small leather um, pin cases. It's just really small. Let's see. Let's see. This is what, about seven and a half, seven and a half inches tall. Well, maybe let's see. It's right at eight. Eight inches tall. And it's about 10 inches wide. So, it's really cute. Um, I kind of thought, you know, um, that it was kind of like a way cheaper version of maybe like the superior um, labor one. But... So I thought this was like $20 on eBay, not eBay, Etsy. And so I wanted to put like um, my traveler notebooks and stuff like that. And so I could just grab this if I am in a different part of the house or when I leave, say like if I know that I'm going to be gone for a minute, like sometimes I'm taking my son to... Uh, basketball park or something like that I'll have something to do I'll uh, have a few of my essentials in here and so that's why I bought this and I have been waiting for a while but you know uh, when it comes from uh, overseas like that you have to wait and so you got a pocket here and let's see it looked like it had more pockets look like it had pockets going around it or something but anyway, uh, there's a pocket here. And then this, this is just a partition. But it didn't go all the way down to the floor of the um, purse. So that's interesting. I don't know why they would partition it off and then only do it halfway. But let's see. Then you have a little pocket here. Let's see. Let me see if it's open. No, it's not open on the end. So that is a real pocket. All right. And they only had a few colors. They had black. They had, um, I think, you know, re regular canvas color. Um, and then they had this. And I thought that this would be cute. And I do like it with that little brown accent right there. So I have been waiting a while to get this. And so I am going to put this in here. And then I got a couple of traveler's notebooks. The ones that's not going to be in my purse. And then I think that this would even fit a, um, I think I could put my Aaron Condren in here. It would just have to be standing up. Um, yeah, I think so. I think Aaron Condren would fit here. And then... Uh, this and then a couple of traveler's notebooks and I think um, I think that would be neat all right uh, so that's that one okay. 
And then I think this is my last um, fountain pen day sale. I think this is the last one. All right. Oh, this one took the longest to get here. But I ordered them all last Friday. All right. All right, let's see if I can get in here. What? This was not going to come loose, was it? Okay. Hmm. Oh, here we go. Okay. I forget what this is. I think this was a bundle. Verte ink. Oh, I got another purple. I do love purple. All right, so this is the one I was waiting for. All right, and then they give me a catalog. How oh, nice. So I can look through it. But I, I think I'm good on pens and stuff for a while. But that's going to be neat to kind of look at. All right. All right. So this one, I picked this up because it's supposed to be um, for... Oh, wait. This ain't the one. Wait a minute. Okay. I do have another box coming then. Because there is one that was um, for healthcare workers. So anyway, let's see. Ooh, nice box. I remember now this one was just marked down pretty good and so um i went ahead and picked this up and i want to say that ink was free i'm not sure let me see but look at that isn't that pretty and i don't usually like these uh slick resin pens i pretty much care for like black sleek um I, I actually like a matte black, but this is really, really pretty. All right. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, I did pay for the ink. It was $10. Hmm. All right. All right, I was reading because it looked like it's supposed to come with a free gift. But anyway, um, I have to look back and see. So this is what comes underneath and you can do cartridges. So I guess this doesn't come with a converter or maybe it's in it. We'll see. Oops. And then I'm gonna drop it. All right very nice it's not real heavy it's actually kind of relatively light oh that's pretty so i saw this um i, I want to say on the the shop i want to say they uh value it at like 90 dollars, but i have seen it for like 65 70 like on Amazon and stuff. And I paid 50. All right. Which is it really expensive for me. <laughs> okay, so it does come with one. Now I'm going to have to figure out what kind of ink I'm going to put this put in here. Uh, and then I'm need to decide whether or not I'm going to go ahead and ink it up. 
because I have some already. And I'm learning that you can't have a lot, all these pens with ink in them. All right. Oops. Oh. And then, let's see if I put the top on it. Okay. It is pretty sturdy. Nice and comfortable. All right, so um, I'm not unhappy with this. So that is my little haul, y'all. Oh, and look at that. It kind of goes with that, doesn't it? All right, so um, I am starting to get a fine pen collection here. And then there's another pen that I'm waiting on to come in. Um, and I will show y'all when it gets here. All right. I will talk to you guys later. Bye.